Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is our weekly analysis video and in it we explain things that are happening in the market currently, what to expect for the coming week and even the bigger picture. So for this week, I'm going to be looking at what's happening in the monthly time frame right now, where we are right now in the state of things. I'm going to also look at a big opportunity that it provides based on what is happening at the moment. Then I'm also going to look at a pair that I'm going to be focused more on right now and I'll tell you why. And I'm also going to look at an opportunity that may play out as soon as this week opens up so as soon as the week opens up that opportunity may play out and i'll show you everything about the opportunity take profit stop loss and all of that so let's get right into it so let's start by looking at um, the monthly chart so let me just um first of all first of all let me recall back um, what happened last week i talked about this opportunity last week the pullback and you can see how it got to the 61.8 level and turned and bought even when it got here i talked about this pullback which it did and also it turned around again. The same thing happened on Euro USD. You can see the buy, the pullback, and then um, it went into profit just as I um, explained. And of course, as we came by, it also pulled back and went up again. So this is what has happened so far. So the trend currently is clearly bullish on Euro USD and the pound USD on the daily time frame. Let me delete this too. So let's go to the, the monthly chart. So on the monthly chart, we have been looking at this for a while. This is what's happening on the monthly chart. And so far, my anticipation has been towards a bearish movement because I was looking at that this was down. This is a pullback and it's, it's going to continue downwards. However, you know the market doesn't move in a straight line. It does waves up and down, up and down. So last month ended as a doji, just as I was um, anticipated. I shared that in the previous video. This is for pound USD right now. And this month right now, if you remember earlier on, I talked about that when this month, this month hits the high of the previous month, that that would be a trigger for us to start buying. And that's what um, kind of happened so far. After it broke that high, so far we have continued to see buys it did a little pull back then you know we have continued to see buys afterwards so for euro usd it's kind of like a similar thing we have that major downtrend and it pulled back to the 61.8 level and then um, it has been ranging around the 50 and 38.2 levels so far so last month it got to the 38.2 level i mean um before last month it got to the 38.2 level in a downward trend then last month ended as a doji let me zoom out on that so you see it so it was it literally ended almost at the same place where open and close price that's interesting it happens once in a while then of course the same thing when it hit the high of the month it continued being bullish so as at friday it has gone back to the 50 for euro usd it has gone back to the 50 level it has moved up again and hit the 50 level so this is where euro usd is right now for pound usd um, let me also zoom in on it 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 didn't get to the 38.2 it just fell a little bit below the 50 struggled around it last month and has turned back up and has clearly crossed into it again so for pound usd it seems like maybe it may actually be heading towards the 61.8 level now before i jump um, ahead this is just giving you an idea on the monthly time frame what has happened so far you understand this is where things are right now yes the possibility of it still going downward both for pound usd and euro usd is still there because it's still within this range it can still decline However, it's in a range. For Euro USD, it's clearly in a range. For Pound USD, it is also within this range of 61 and then the 38.2 is still kind of in a range on monthly time frame. But currently on daily, it is rising. So the trend for um, Pound USD and Euro USD on daily time frame is bullish. So now we have established that. So the next thing is what is the big opportunity it provides based on what's happening right now? Now, that big opportunity is this. Because because on the daily time frame, pound USD and Euro USD are bullish. That means that for those of us trading binary, we have a clear chance to make a lot of money probably between now and the festive season because the trend is clearly bullish. You understand? The trend is clearly bullish. So we have a good chance to make a lot of money trading binary. All we need to do is for look for opportunities to buy, especially during the US session and we'll be fine. You understand? So we're going to see, probably going to see more days that it's quite clear and we can make money 
platform. For those uh, trading forex, what that means is this. You also have a chance to look for opportunities to buy and most likely those will be clear opportunities for you to make money. Now I'm going to show you an opportunity uh, just shortly that I'm looking at but um, that is the big opportunity. Trend is in your favor. So we are in a trending market in the daily time frame. So that is an advantage in our favor. So I hope that's clear. So now next, what pair am I going to be focusing more? And that's what I'm going to look at now. So now I just mentioned that for pound USD, it looks as if it's going back to the 61 point level. So I'm most likely going to focus more on looking at more bullish opportunities on pound USD because clearly it's not too long it broke the high and it seems like it's still going to get back there since this is like a range. Now for Euro USD, Euro USD just hit the 50 level. So there's a chance that as it hits around the 50 level, it may slow down. You know, last week I talked about being more bullish on Euro USD. Now I'm looking at being more bullish on pound USD for this week. If you also look at um, for the coming week, there's um, a scenario here. You can see this pullback for pound USD didn't get to the high. But for Euro USD on daily time frame, it actually already you know, pull back and even went above the high. So there's a chance that for pound USD, you may also see that continuation. And that leads me to the opportunity that I'm talking about that may show up in the coming week as soon as the week opens up. This is the opportunity that I'm looking at. Now, this is how it is. I'm expecting that this market may actually go up and hit this level. So you may be able to catch some pips. But now, how do you go about that? What are the levels to actually look at, look out for? Now, if you take this to four hours time frame on um, pound USD, this is what you're going to see. Now, what I've kind of seen this kind of pattern before, so I'm anticipating that something like that may play out. Now, the week may just open and pound USD just goes right all the way up here. And that means you will not be able to take advantage of it. However, if the week opens up, especially with Euro USD ending the week hitting um, on the monthly time frame a, a notable high level, the week may open and we may see pullbacks. Pullbacks on Euro USD and pullbacks on pound USD. Now, if pound USD is to pull back maybe into this zone, the zone of about maybe about um, 2.40 or around 2.40, what you can do is that you can take a trade by using the current low as your stop around um, 370 then if the market pulls back into this zone let's say it pulls back anywhere around this is kind of like the range so if the market pulls into this range this zone you can take it back using this area as your stop loss where i put this line as your stop loss now if you were to do that you will be having a stop loss at let's say maximum of about um, 50 pips so if the market turns around and goes back up later within the week. That means you will now have a take profit of about 75 pips, 75 pips. So the opportunity is like a one to 1.5 you get. If the market declines further into the zone before you take the opportunity, meaning that your stop loss can be less, you can have a stop loss as low as even 40 pips, then meaning you have even have a higher take profit of about um, 80 pips. So that's not be like a one to two opportunity. Of course, the market could also just go the way down and hit your stop loss. So take note of that. But I'm thinking that if it does that, there's a chance that if it just opens the week and declines, there's a chance that it's still going to turn around and buy. So that's my thinking about that. And generally within the week, I'm going to be looking to be more bullish on um, pound USD because of the chances that it still has some chance to still rally. So that's it. That's the market recap for the week. If you have some more questions and some areas that you want to add, please drop it in the comment. I'm always excited to hear from you guys. So with that being said, I'll see you in the coming week and have a successful trading week. Bye.